everyone, today I'm going to be doing how to do a handstand. So, let's... So this is what your handstand should look like. So first of all, you're going to try and get one leg to kick the other leg because then it will make you go higher and higher each time. So, we're going to keep trying that and until you get even higher. So, a useful tip is probably to have a wall to kick against because then it will make it it make you go higher and it will also make you stay up for longer and it will make your handstand very straight so that's a tip that you can use so you're going to try it against the wall and once you've got it against the wall you're going to not kick so that's that's one of the things that you'll do later on so you're going to stretch out your hamstrings which are at the back of your just at the back of your knee and you're just going to bend down and stretch then you're going to stretch out your arms because it's important to stretch before you attempt any of this so it's fine if you don't just only if you're doing a little bit and to stretch out your back which is probably one of the main things um you just need to lean back and i'm stretching my arms out again sorry that i stopped it and i forgot to edit it out so yeah so now uh i've got the wall i'm going to keep doing it against the wall and this is how you will get it and also i'm you should put your hands straight like this but sometimes I put mine like this, like slightly slanted because it's actually easier for me. But I'm just going to t tell you to put them straight because when you do your actual handstand with straight hands, you're going to, um, it's going to be harder to do and it's going to strengthen you up. And then with um, just normal hands, it's just going to be like that. And can you see I'm kind of slanted? It just helps me a little bit more and then I straighten myself up so yeah and sorry I had to do it in voiceovers it's just because um, the hoover was on and also you need to make sure you kick up and put your arms near your ears and you're going to go into a T position so kick up put your arms up and go into a T position that actually really helps your handstand um, because especially the kick and it makes you go higher and still try and kick your other leg and try and do it against the wall because that's a really useful tip that you can learn so yeah so you're going to kick up and go round and what we're going to do now is going to hop on one leg so like just hop up hop up hop up and it's going to be very fun and like I'm just stretching out both of my legs, so I stretched out my right leg and then my left leg. So, make sure um, your legs are shoulder width apart because that's a useful tip to have. And yeah, that's what I'm seeing right now. And also, maybe you should try doing a scorpion, it's a little bit harder, but we're just going to do some lunges because it stretches out your legs and your hamstrings. And you're going to go into a squat position and put your arms up and then down and then up and then down. Do it about five to six times. And yeah, and then it goes up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So yeah, so up, up, down. Make sure you stretch your T position, kick up, kick up, go around. So yes. That is um, just basically how to do a handstand. And also another tip for you is to walk up the wall the other way and gently put your hands closer and closer to the wall because it will help with your handstand and make it stronger and better to do. So thank you for watching. And my video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my main channel which is Karis Davis and I'll link it in the description below so yeah subscribe like and comment down below what I should do next and yeah